Hi, today I want to show you how to adapt a PHP project like the course gamification uh, code without added cost with something called Elastic Beanstalk by Amazon. So we are going to start by downloading the code for our uh, application and then we'll set up the environment and get it up and running. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, find our hackathon. So uh, we'll look for gamification and uh, let's go ahead and navigate to the project. You can of course go directly to GitHub and uh, just search for PHP. Find any PHP project that uh, that is uh, available. In this instance we have a link here to, to GitHub. Okay, so now we have uh, course games uh, where the code itself is located. We'll go ahead and download it as a zip file. Alright, so we can do this without actually um, downloading the GitHub application itself. Alright, okay, so our next step is to navigate to aws.amazon.com create an account and then go ahead and log in to the AWS or Amazon Web Services uh, control panel. Now you might uh, need to find the Beanstalk by simply searching for the word bean uh, and so Elastic Beanstalk is what we're looking for. Uh, once you use it the first time the most frequently used systems are going to be at the very top. But let's go ahead and navigate to it and we'll go ahead and press get started. Now at this point we're going to create a new application. Uh, we'll call that uh, Course Games. And uh, what's the platform? Well, for our uh, system it's a PHP uh, application. So we need a PHP server and a web server created for us automatically. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to upload our own code. Now we could have just uploaded to start with maybe index.php and have uh, PHP info just to check out what is installed on the system. But I will go ahead and navigate now to um, the uh, download uh, that we performed a moment ago. There we go. And so now let's go ahead and uh, upload uh, this file. So this is the code we downloaded from GitHub. And let's go ahead and uh, create the application. So um, a lot of um, hamsters are now running in the background and uh, uh, working really hard to create a virtual environment that will support uh, PHP. Now the nice thing about this Elastic Beanstalk service is that there is a, a free layer and so uh, unless we put this in production we'll be able to test and operate and, and go ahead and execute without cost being incurred. This particular application does not use uh, any file storage or database storage. Therefore, the free layer actually will last us quite a while. Uh, the only difficulty here would be uh, perhaps bandwidth and uh, CPU usage. But uh, this, this would not um, happen until a lot of activity is taking place. All right, so we see that the environment is uh, being created. All right, so the environment is now started. We uh, see the version of PHP we're running, and our application is already uploaded. So now it's just a matter of executing it. We have a nice uh, shortcut here to the URL, the IP address we're given, and if we wanted to, we could of course set our own DNS to um, to serve this content. Uh, at the root, of course, we will have uh, forbidden, which is great. So what's our U URL? Well, let's go ahead and navigate to the code that we downloaded. And uh, the course game dash master is what was downloaded directly from GitHub. Let's go ahead and open the zip file. Within the zip file, we have a folder of dash master and then another folder with all the code called course games. So what that means is that we have to type this out. We're going to say uh, course, uh, there we go, dash master, and then course games. We'll go ahead and execute it. And there it is. And the application is running for free 
on the Amazon uh, services. Now, if you'd like the URL to be shorter, uh, we can simply modify uh, the, the, the zip file. So we go back to the application. Perhaps we are going to navigate inside of course uh, games and simply create uh, a zip file out of this. So uh, there we go, compress. And so now if the archive.zip is our application, then we simply would execute right uh, at the root of the, uh, of the web server. And so that's how you can uh, download any code from GitHub and uh, make it run. Thank you.